Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Blend Morphs in Anime Studio Pro. Tutorial. Blend Morphs are another way to save certain uh, animations uh, in order to re reuse them over and over again. Uh, as you can see I have um, drawn a character on screen, just a simple character right here for now. and. What we are going to do first, we are going to window and then we click on actions. Uh, now you have uh, regular actions, morphs and smart bones. In the, a previous tutorial we focused on regular actions, but now we are going to focus on morphs. Now in order to create a morphs action, uh, you need to animate everything on frame 1. Otherwise uh, it will be a regular action. So what we do while we're on the character layer we create a new action and let's say we want to make him angry so we type in angry click OK now you're automatically on frame 1 and like I said uh, everything needs to be done on frame 1 so we zoom in and we are going to animate the eyebrows to give him a angry look like this there we go so then if I go back to the main line and you go to morphs you see the angry action is uh, has become a morph action so now that we have done that we click this away and then what we do if I make the points invisible we go to window and we click on blend morphs or control shift B uh, and then this uh, window appears and you see uh, that the angry action is now uh, uh, on the menu so uh, you can't do anything right now because you're in frame 0 but if I go to any frame any other frame on the timeline let's say frame 48 you are able to uh, move this button right here and you see if you do that you see that the character gets the angry look now you can choose for absolute or relative to current and with relative to current you uh, not only it will create uh, the action but it will also go further like this but I personally uh, prefer to use absolute but you can see for yourself what you think is uh, useful so if I go back to absolute uh, let's say we want to make an animation on the timeline of him uh, getting an angry look uh, you move it all the way up here to 100 percent and then you click on apply and then you see uh, keyframes are created right here now let's say you don't want to uh, get him uh, look angry uh, right here. You only want to start the animation from right here. Um, what you then do is uh, you click on this button while you're on the frame uh, where you want to start the animation and you click on the button default and you move it up until 100% and then click apply and then you see if you go to the timeline that the eyebrows are the same until right here where it gets the angry look so and of course uh, you can do this for uh, many other things you can, you can make him look sad you can make his pupils move to the left or to the right or uh, make his whole uh, make his mouth open or whatever so uh, this is a very useful tool to uh, save animations and reuse them over and over again. Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial. If you want to see more, then please subscribe to this channel. I put new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make animations myself. I will upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.